Many people worry about the impact PFAS chemicals have on their drinking water, but now there's a new threat to keep in mind. Nikki Zizaza from our CBS affiliate in Kalamazoo reports. It doesn't look like anything now, but a month ago it did. Amber Adams Falls didn't anticipate her water would be a threat to her now decaying vegetable garden she has nurtured for years. We stopped watering immediately. We usually water twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and it's just not possible to water a garden this size with bottled water. Her labor of love and hobby. It took all the joy out of my summer, basically, because this is what I do for fun. This is what I live for. The 33-year-old is among thousands of parchment residents using bottled water after tests revealed high levels of PFAS, a potentially cancerous chemical, was found in the tap water. We can't eat, apparently, any of our previous canned goods. So I have over 300 jars of home preserves on my shelves that we can't touch. They're going to have to be thrown away. The health risks sparking a wide range of questions Adams Falls says public officials are not addressing. The more I think about it and the more people I talk to, I start to really realize the kind of terrifying massive scope of this issue. But until residents get an okay to consume the water, Adams Falls will have to purchase all her produce. Okay, well, our tomatoes are full of water. Our zucchini, you know, it was all watered with this water, so we're kind of concerned that maybe we shouldn't be eating this.